can leave him with me, but I don't want you here. Look, I know you're still upset. I was too. And Aaron kept me out of the loop as well. What else is he keeping from you? So it might be a good idea to find out before your wedding day. They were best mates. And I was his wife. Aaron and Kane kept us in the dark to protect us. If we knew about the jailbreak and the police How came... How lovely up... of them. But if you think I can pretend that none of this happened, that I can sit there on your wedding day with the rest of you smiling away... OK, OK, there are plenty of reasons why you shouldn't be there, but I'm your brother. And if I start telling your husband what I think of him? Do you think that's what Chaz is going to want to hear? Cos she really doesn't need that right now. Well, we've got loads of pre-wedding stuff to do today, but if you change your mind and you fancy a chat... Then... I won't. Robert just dropped him off, so it's the three of us today. Who are you shouting at him? What's he done now? I won't bore you with the details again. Ah, yes, tomorrow. I wrote it down. It's the wedding, isn't it? Have you got your outfit sorted? Yes, but it's staying in the wardrobe because I'm not going. And I doubt I'll be missed. It's fine. Diane, it's OK. I'll be there as quick as I can. Just try not to panic. All right, bye. Slight emergency. Already scared. OK, emergency does sound a bit dramatic, but Dan's at the supermarket till in Houghton and she's left a purse at home. So I have to go to hers and then drive over there. With Seb? Robert didn't leave a car seat. But it's OK, I will ring him and he'll have to come back. No, don't do that. I can't really leave you on your own. Because I can't be alone with my own child. Do you think I'll ever get used to saying that? Rebecca, after everything you've been through recently, I'm not going to leave you. You don't have to. No, I, um, I think I know someone who might be able to help. Why don't you do a pros and cons list? Going versus not going. I am not going. It's obviously something you're still not telling me. <gasps> Should I say what I am telling you? I'm not going to the wedding. OK, obviously, Robert has done something to annoy you again, but he's your brother. And if you go, then you'll have the higher ground forever. That's a pro. Who is marrying? That's a con. Aaron, have I forgotten something again? Let's just say he's not the brother-in-law I was expecting him to be. Look, as someone who hasn't got much family left, there are things that I wish I had said yes to when it was easier just to say no. And I wish that I still had family weddings I could go to. Right on cue, the cavalry. Come on in. Oh, see who it is. Hey, thought you weren't coming. Yeah, well, sorry I'm late, but I'm here now. Right, I best go get Diane's purse before her head explodes in the supermarket. Nobody wants to see that. Thank you from both of us. Oh, I'll just put my best anti medal in the post. Mm. See you later. Bye. See ya. Sorry, but this is still my life, where I can't be left alone with my own child. Yeah, but I reckon there was a time when people thought I shouldn't be left alone with Moses. Bit different. He had a brain that works normally. Yeah, but I did a lot of things that made people think I didn't. Thank you for coming. It's OK. I've got your back. And I've got Seb's too. Because yesterday, your mummy had mine. And I don't forget things like that. Really.